A very warm welcome to all of you. Students, so far we have seen what measurement and evaluation is, its meaning, definition, purpose, concept, advantages, disadvantages, and what does measurement in education means. Today, in this presentation, we shall revise the meaning of measurement and we will learn about scales of measurements, its properties and types of scales. In previous lessons, we have already learnt about what measurement is. Like if I ask you how old are you, how much do you weigh, how tall are you, in order to answer all these questions, you need to measure. To find how old you are, you need to measure time. To know how much you weigh, your you must weigh yourself and to know how tall you are, you need to measure your height. So you can see that in these measurements, we need two important attributes. That is the numeric value and the other is the unit. This is the characteristic feature of physical measurements. But in educational measurement, we don't talk about absolute zero. What is educational measurement that we do? by assigning numbers with the help of tests and assessments. So measurement is a process of finding a number that shows the amount of something or we can say it is simply assigning numbers to events, attributes and phenomena. And today we will see what the levels or scales of measurement means. Now levels of measurement or scale of measure is a classification that describes the nature of information within the values assigned to variables. Psychologist Stanley Smith Stevens developed the best known classification with four levels or scales of measurement that is nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Now as you can see in the figure that nominal scale is the lowest level of measurement. A nominal scale is a scale of measurement used to assign events or objects into discrete categories and this form of scale does not require the use of numeric values or categories ranked by class but simply unique identifiers to label each distinct category. For example, group of people can be categorized based on gender that is male and female or religion or their affiliation to different political parties. Now, the ordinal scale is second level of measurement that reports the ranking and ordering of the data without actually establishing the degree of variation between them. Ordinal level of measurement is the second of the four measurement scales as you can see in the figure. Ordinal indicates order and ordinal data is quantitative data which have naturally occurring orders and the difference between is unknown. It can be named, grouped and also ranked. Now the third level of measurement is uh, the interval scale of measurement and it is a type of scale that is characterized by equal intervals between scale units. The scale is made up of equal temperature units so that the difference between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to the difference between 40 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Other examples are that of standard test, the Likert scale and the semantic differential scale. Temperature scales including the Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature scales are examples of the interval scale as we have already seen and in contrast the Kelvin temperature scale is based on a true zero point. Now, the fourth or the highest level of measurement is the ratio scale and uh, it is a scale which is quantitative in nature. Ratio scale allows any researcher to compare the intervals or differences. Ratio scale as we have seen is the fourth level of measurement and possesses a true zero point or character origin and this is used in physical measurements. So, to conclude, we can say that measurement scales help us to determine the appropriate statistical procedure for analyzing particular data and to draw conclusions from it. Each type of measurement scale has a specific use. So, I hope that this video would have enhanced your understanding about measurement scales. See you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.